Hello guys and subscribers, this is Evino TV. This is how uh, I just want to show you today how uh, cargoes are moved from the land to the ports in um, Canada. This is Toronto precisely. You can see this is um train, um, moving trucks, moving containers, you know, to the uh, ports. You know, this is how they do it here. They don't move this things like this on the road, you know, because it causes a lot of hazards both to the road users and the road itself. You know, looking at this, you can see uh, this is mice and mice of uh, cargoes, you know, containers of uh, goods and services uh, moving uh, through the train uh, network of this uh, country. You know, the country has been planned in such a way that, uh, you know, everything has where it goes through. You know, most of the containers and cargoes, they go through the rail. You know saving costs and everything you know so we are watching it right now so we're gonna be seeing uh, how long this is gonna take you know before it uh, passes through so we are seeing several containers you know double you can see it's double kind of you know yeah we are watching it right now this is um I just wish that Nigeria as a country is gonna learn a thing or two from um, this kind of uh, cargo movement uh, container. You know, yeah, we are seeing it right away how it is happening. So I want Nigerian government to invest more in our rail infrastructures. You know that we uh, most of the times uh, terminate at the port of entries and exits, so that cargoes like this um, are gonna be moved. On the land to the ports, you can see that you know, like this one is like a, a, a liquid or stuff. You can see the container stay coming through. This is it. This is video CV live and direct here in Toronto, Canada. Monitoring the situation right now. You can see that. Yes, 
maybe it's like they are going to the um, uh, wharf, port, port, yeah, port of uh, ice port, yeah.